Professor, can you tell us more about the complications of sinus surgery and the endoscopic sinus surgery? Yes. Uh, well, first of all, uh, in the Japanese, for the prevalence of allergic laryngitis, for example, is surprisingly 30 to 40 percent of Japanese nation have allergic laryngitis. And for the chronic sinusitis, we guess that maybe uh, two million, so three million people have uh, chronic laryngitis. Of course, it's it's you know severity is different, different. But a uh, uh, certain amount of patient still live in uh, Japanese country, so most of them can treat it by the medical treatment like antibiotics or steroid sprays or the other anti-inflammatory agent. But uh, maybe we should do the surgical treatment. Uh, maybe um, prevalence uh, is uh, 40 to 50,000 patients per year we operate in the Japanese country. So therefore, um, uh, the number of the patients who have to treat it by surgery is a considerable amount. So, uh, so that is to say, uh, we have to do the very careful and useful beneficial operation for the patient. That is the important point. So um, uh, we, of course, use the navigation system. And we use uh, very nice tools, instruments for make our operation better and quicker and less invasive for the patient. Okay. And we, of course, have a endoscope. And now, recently, we, are, uh, we have a 3D endoscope, for example, and we have also the 4K monitors. And because uh, with Tokyo, we organize the next Olympic Games, so that any TV company of Japan is now developing 8K, very, very, very high definition TV. So uh, we can have a nice chance to do the operation with the 4K or 8K, very nice, high quality TV monitors. But, but still, unfortunately, we have a tragedy during operation. It, of course, the uh, percentage of the complications like uh, orbital injury or the brain injury is very rare. It's uh, hopefully the um, late for the complication, major complication during the sinus operation is less than 4.1%. Mm -hmm. But the pa number of the patients who had surgical treatment in the year is more than 40 thousand that is to say unfortunately 400 or to uh, a couple of hundred patients have you know it's a um, uh, severity is of course uh, varied but uh, some patients have very really severe complication like sometimes they look they lose their visions or sometimes they have to suffer from a meningitis after the scarface injury or sometimes they have a permanent dyplopion because they um, some muscles which moves the orbit uh, was injured during the operation so in such kind of a tragedy we actually have in Japan unfortunately so we have to understand the patient that the surgical treatment is really beneficial because then, uh, most of the patients can be treated as I told you that uh, with uh, uh, medical management but um, think about the cost for the long-term antibiotic treatment or long-term steroid treatment is cost it's considerable amount, of course, and not so cheap. So for some patient, it really have a uh, surgical treatment with uh, minimized uh, medical therapy is cheaper actually than to have a long-term antibiotic treatment. So um, uh, we would uh, let understand the patient that usually the surgical treatment has a very much beneficial treatment. It uh, heal very quicker, heal very uh, if you feel quicker, earlier, and its uh, goal of um, goal is to used to be very much higher than to have a long-term medical treatment. But in another, in, on the other hand, uh, the patient would have the risk to have the complications. So the important thing is, if the if the doctor tells you to have a surgical treatment, you have to ask the patient again and again what benefit, what the downside was, okay? That is the uh, point which from me to the uh, uh, public person, okay?
Bye. 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 Bye.